Good morning, guys. He says nearly tripping over the furniture. And welcome to Bali. I'm gonna close that door now because it's very warm and it's only 6.30 in the morning. So you can imagine how hot this place is. Let me just pop you down there and push you back a little bit. I'm quite tired and I oh, <laughs> didn't mean to do that. I am quite tired. So if I look tired, that's the reason. I've had to get up fairly early because there's lots to do today. It's my last day here. I'm flying back home later. But before that, well, firstly, welcome to The Tech Diary. This is my second channel where I take forever to get to the point. Although today I won't take, take forever to get to the point because I need to show you something on my Mac. Now this is a sponsored video. This video is sponsored by a brand, which I know is something that people aren't always keen on. However, the reason we're doing this is because it's something I've been using consistently for the last couple of weeks and it featured in my Black Friday video on the main channel. If you haven't seen that, by the way, go and check it out. The reason I wanna talk about this, and it's from a company called GLINet, is that a very quick history lesson. I used to work for a company uh, for about 15 years where we used to support our, our customers remotely. I spent about, I don't know, three years of the 15 years at that company on support. And we used something, and this is gonna be really testing my, my, <laughs> my you know, brain power here and certainly my, my um, memory, and it might be testing yours as well. We used something called Log Me In, which I think is still available. It's very similar to, um, let's think of another one. I, I did make a list here. So it is very similar to things like Team Viewer. It's, it's the ability to log into a computer remotely and access it and, and do things with it. And it was fairly rubbish, to be honest, because you, you had to have lots of different things set up. And this was about 20 years ago. What has always annoyed me with the Mac, I've got a very noisy table here. What, what has always annoyed me with the Mac is that there's no simple way out of the box to log in to my Mac Mini in the studio if I'm remote, like I, I, I'm, I'm thousands of miles away now. I can't pick up my MacBook Pro and log into my Mac Mini in the studio. And that's a pain because as much as I am mobile and I've got everything pretty much on here that I need, there are occasions when I just need to get into that Mac Mini, it, particularly if I've got a, a process running on that Mac Mini, like maybe an export for a video or, I've had to leave loads of files exporting. That's the, that's the classic thing where I've, I've finished filming a video in the studio, I upload everything to, to, to Google Drive, leave it uploading, go home, go away, whatever, and it fails. And that means that Niall, who edits these videos, doesn't get what he needs, and it's a real pain in the you know what. I can't believe there's nothing really simple and reliable built into macOS to do this. If you tell me there is, <laughs> I know there isn't, There's not, not in the way that I need to do it, because what I need is full access to my computer in the studio, not just the computer itself, but I need access to the hardware as well that's connected to it. Now, GLINet got in touch about Black Friday uh, a couple of weeks ago, and they sent me the, I've got a few notes here just because it's early, like I say, so if I'm looking at notes occasionally, this is why, I, need to, I, wanna, I wanna get these things right. They sent me the Comet PoE, which is basically this tiny little box that you plug into your Mac and into your router, and it sits in between those two things, and it acts as a kind of gateway to your Mac or your Windows PC, obviously, so, so that you can access it remotely. But the key thing with this is that it's not software. It's a hard, it's hardware level control, and that means it's basically like a kind of remote KVM switch. So it gives you access to your keyboard, your mouse, everything basically, which means I can get into the computer and do stuff with it, which I'll show you in a second. But equally, I can restart it if it's crashed, which doesn't happen very often, but sometimes happens with Macs. I have gone into the studio occasionally and it's just not on. I don't know why that happens, but that does happen occasionally. I can still access it, I can still restart it. And that is transformative. So what I thought I'd do is give you a very quick demo of what that looks like. And then we'll talk about what makes this different because it, because it is different to, to things like TeamViewer and log me in. That, is, that feels like such a long time ago because it was. Right, okay, so I've got my Mac here. It is, what time is it here? <laughs> so early, 6.44 a.m. 
These tech diary videos, guys, they are, they're real. This is me at this time of the morning. So 6.44 a.m. here, it's about 10.30, 10.45 p.m. in the studio back in my hometown of uh, Warwickshire in the UK. And I know my Mac's on. 100% because Niall has been in the, in the studio this evening doing stuff and he, he knows it's on. Uh, but I, I may not know that's the case. So there's two ways of getting into the Comet PoE. The first one is if you're in the same building as the machine, that, yeah, the target machine that you want to, to access, you can just go in via a very quick, um, what do you call it, a, an address that you put into your browser. However, I'm not there, so I have to go into my browser here and into a certain web address which you can use anywhere it's just it's just www.glkvm.com something something and that will work from anywhere basically and as you can see immediately i see a list of devices and i see my device there i click on remote control and this internet connection is very slow here as well <laughs> incredibly slow so the fact it works at all is amazing. Bang, there's my desktop. And I can start doing stuff. You know, I can go into Lightroom. I can start looking through my Lightroom uh, library. And I can, that's very handy actually, occasionally, because I may not have a Mac with me that is good enough to deal with Lightroom or deal with things like Final Cut Pro. There's been times when I've, need, I've needed to go into Logic Pro to process some audio, but I've got a, a MacBook, a MacBook Air with me, for instance, or I've even got a, maybe an iPad or sometimes, sometimes a Windows PC and I don't have the software on there to do what I need to do. I can now log into my Mac Mini, get what I need to get done, upload it to a, you know, a Google Drive or whatever, and I, it's all done. It's just so, so easy. And yeah, you can, like I say, you can go into, I can open Logic, I can open Final Cut Pro. I won't show you too much here because this is my main Mac and I can't show you all the stuff that's going on on it because it's all personal and private, etc. Nothing weird, obviously, but um, <laughs> I, I, can, I can just do stuff on here. I can go into, into anything I want. It's just like sitting in front of the computer. If you're wondering how this is all set up, very straightforward. You basically take that tiny Comet PoE thing, and it is really small. It's very small, very, very unobtrusive. And you firstly plug it into a power source. And this is the clever thing. You take a, a, an ethernet cable from the router into the Comet PoE. That gives it access to your network, obviously to your, to your internet. And if your router supports power over ethernet, it powers it as well. So there's no separate power supply. Mine doesn't do that, unfortunately. My, my, for some reason, the, the router in the studio doesn't, ha doesn't have that power over ethernet. So instead, instead of that, you can power it via USB-C, which I just, I did, I did that from the back of the Mac mini, I think, or you no, know, I used one of my, um, one of my many Mac mini hubs to power the Comet PoE. So two ways of powering it, but equally, you don't have to worry about having a separate power supply. Happy days. You then plug in an HDMI cable into the back of the Comet PoE. That then goes into the back of the Mac Mini. That gives you the video signal, which is how I'm, I'm managing to see my own Mac from here. And you just then connect a USB-C cable to the back of the Comet PoE, and that goes into your Mac Mini to access the keyboard and all the rest of it. It's as simple as that. It's really, really straightforward. And what makes this different from TeamViewer and log me in, that was a long time ago, is that because it's hardware and not software, it has that, that kind of, it's like a, uh, it's a point in between your, your, your target computer that you're accessing and you, which means if that computer crashes, like I've mentioned, or let's just, let's assume you've got a Windows PC for some reason, <clears throat> and that crashes and it ends up not starting up ever again. You can even get into the BIOS, so you can still, because it's a KVM switch basically that you're logging into remotely. So if your computer completely crashes, and this can happen with Macs as well, you can basically get into the computer, get into the BIOS, restart it, you can get into safe mode, you can do whatever you need to do, and fix it, hopefully, if it's a Mac, and not, Win not a Windows PC. You can't do that with, with TeamViewer or log me in. You could never do that. That was one thing we always had, had an issue with. And like I say, joking apart, <laughs> it has had quite a big impact on the way that I've been able to, been able to access my Mac 
remotely. It's just worked. And it's so responsive. Like I say, this internet connection here is horrendous. And it's, you know, I can, I can move windows around and there's no, I can promise you, there's no software running on the Mac Mini. Once I'd plugged everything in, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice is going. Once I'd plugged everything in, it just worked. It just started working. That is quite rare these days. So in, in terms of it being different to what I was used to and how far we've come with this sort of stuff, it's utterly brilliant. Um, I, we will put the pricing down here as well. Um, these things change, they change by region. So we'll put the pricing for UK and US down here somewhere. Um, what else do I need to tell you about this? There are a few other things that are definitely worth thinking about, including who this potentially is for. Um, in if you're wondering what that box has inside it, if you're a spec person, for instance, it has a quad core 1.5 gigahertz CPU with H.264 hardware encoding. So you get the full fat image from your target machine. It runs 4K 30 frames per second remote video with very low latency, which is hard to demonstrate that here, but it definitely is the case. Um, audio output is supported as well. So you get the audio from your target computer on the computer you're controlling it with. 32 gig of onboard storage. So if you need to use it, and I don't do this obviously because I don't do this kind of thing anymore, but if you need to access a computer remotely and install ISOs, if you know what that means, you know what that means, or you have to in in install stuff from something else, you can put those images, those disk images onto the Comet PoE and happy days, 32 gig, plenty of stuff. Um, and crash proof file transfer, even if the target is offline. I've not tried that, but that does exist. You also, you also get a built-in lifetime cloud VPN. A lifetime cloud VPN, that's amazing. Um, there's some other stuff that I don't understand that you might do, tail scale integration, there's enterprise grade encryption, which is fantastic. And there's no recurring fees. It's just that, that amount that you pay, I've put down, down here um, as a reminder. So you, do, you pay that, there's no recurring fees, no extra software, no monthly, monthly fees that you have to keep paying. It's really, really impressive. <laughs> I do have to, I, I, with some of these things that we get from brands, we do have to try and make them more digestible for, 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 for particularly for my audience. So, Cause I think you guys, you're not enterprise people. Some of you might be, I'm not. And I think I do tend to attract people who aren't used to enterprise um, wording. So for instance, out of band management means nothing to me at all, but, <laughs> but basically it is the fact that that, 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 that Comet device works independently from, from Mac OS or from Windows. And that means if it crashes, it's still accessible. BIOS, BIOS level access. That doesn't get me excited because I'm not a Windows person, but you might be. So that is just unbelievable. I think that's everything I need to tell you about it, really. And like I said, this is a, this is a completely supported video, which is supported by GLINet. But we will do this, do it occasionally when the product makes sense. And this is one of those products. When, when, we, when we made the... Uh, the Black Friday video for the main channel, which by the way, we'll link to at the end of this if you wanna go and check it out because it is Black Friday now if you're watching this on the day this video goes live. Um, occasionally these products really, really get under my skin. And this is, I think because I've had that, that, <laughs> that history of working with, you know, log me in and all that stuff, it, it's, it's, it's something that's taken me back there to the, although log me in was a bit of a pain to use, it has taken me back to the ability that we had back then to just, you know, to control other people's machines. And the fact that I've never really felt like I've had that with the Mac, you don't get that. There's no easy way to do what I've, uh, I've just described and just shown you by using Mac out of the box. You can't do it. So that is brilliant, I think, guys. It may be for you, it may not be for you, who knows. Um, in terms of why I'm out in Bali, I'm here for Poco, which is a sub-brand of Xiaomi. And the reason I'm here, let me go and grab it for you before I say goodbye to you. Where is it? Because I do need to get ready for a flight. The reason I'm here is for this. It's the Poco F8 Ultra, which is a superb smartphone for an unbelievable price. It's about 749 quid and it's incredible. It's amazing. Um, I, I won't say any more about that because I've been keeping you here for 15 minutes already. But if you've got this far, then go and check out my Instagram page on which there will hopefully be a little short form video about this. But on markellisreviews.com as well, we have a full review of this. It's such a good budget phone. And if you're thinking about getting 
an Android phone this year, it makes things even harder actually in a good way because there's so many good phones. But that, that's why I'm in Bali, to, just to add some, some context to this. But while I've been out here, it has been incredibly handy just to access that Mac Mini via the Comet PoE from GLINet. So thank you GLINet for sponsoring this video. Thank you for showing me this and, and introducing me to this fantastic little device. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. And well, it's time for me to go to the gym, do a bit of a workout, have some breakfast, and then fly home. Can't wait to go home, but yeah, fly home. <laughs> Back to the UK. Cheers, guys. I'll catch you later.